Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for your GoBots Generation Selects Treads figure. Just a reminder, it's only the transformation process. This one can be quite fiddly, so I hope it helps you out. And this also works for Kingdom Warpath. So first things first, make sure you take this off, depending on where you had him attached. And we're going to start off with the arms. So take the arms up to a T. There's these treads at the back, which will then disconnect, fold out, and then tab over that green tab like so. Same principle on this side, fold it out, tab it in like so. Now we're going to make sure this is loose. Take the back of the shoulders. As you bring this down, make sure this comes all the way through like so. Before we do any more with that, let's take the back down here. Let's pull the barrel out, because if you don't, you won't be able to rotate the head into that gap there close that up and now what you're looking to do is push this part through oh if you knock it off like that i'm going to carry on rolling if i do okay guys because if it does i'm going to show you how to rectify it so i'm just going to use that to push it up once you've pushed it up there's another little tab on the inside there this one there fold this part out and then close that down that's pretty much the back of the vehicle done now we get onto the crazy part so separate this tab off there rotate this in that way first and foremost all the way around then spin the leg around then lift this up like so open up that and now at the same time rotate this all the way around that's going to be the top of the tank this is going to now line up as we bring this through so let's see where i've gone wrong underneath here so this needs to i should have perhaps done it a little bit before so bring it around there we go up and down and that's what I should have done. I just went too early with the double rolls. So what we'll do here is this. So open via that tab, open on all of these crazy accesses, spin the leg around. And now let's not do the same thing then. So let's bring this over. So lift this up, tab that into place there, rotate it over now. And then what's happened is this has tucked into the leg, which is what you want. You want that five millimeter port tucking in there. This will come down, bring these around, start to tab these together. And then what's going to happen now, you can guess, is as soon as you bring these over, it's going to pop out anyway, which is fine. Bring these around and underneath, bring these around and underneath. I would suggest you start with these first because these are the biggest ones which hold it together. Then you've got the other tabs coming in at the side there. Same on this side here. And now with all of these here as well, a little bit of pressure, not too much because unfortunately it will pop open. And then this can be quite tricky, but it shouldn't be. You've got two cutouts there, two cutouts there, four tabs there, two on the front, two on that. So if we line this up and then line that up, this should, he says should. I've just cursed the commentator it and it probably won't go in now, but let's see if I can get it in. Right. I totally just jinx myself. This isn't that hard, guys. It's just because I'm reaching around the camera. And as I say, I totally did just jinx myself. Let's put this side in like so. There you go. Now put this side in, bring it over, tab it in, tab that in. Perfect. Right. Now that's in. Everything else will tab together much, much. He says easier. There you go. Finicky, tricky, but hope this helps. We'll go back the other way now. Okay, then let's take him back, which thankfully is much, much easier. So of course, take this off there. You might find now that a couple of things will spring out automatically. In this case, typically it didn't. Separate with the arm tracks and the leg tracks like so. I then would advise you just to move these totally out of the way. Turn your attention to the leg tracks, fold that over. And then what we're looking to do is a load of folding. Bring this down, rotate this all the way around onto the back, fold this around to the back of the leg now. And then this should slot in behind there and then the heel sprue will come down and then that will tab just over there. Bring it back around, rotate it, there's your leg. See, much, much, much simpler this way. So over, rotate that around, bring this down, rotate it to this side via that hinge then rotate this hinge all the way around into there. Tab this heel sprue over that little tab there and then rotate the full leg around. So much simpler. Take the back part there. Rotate the head out like so. Close up the barrel. There we go. Rotate that in. Push this sort of take this up, fold it in, push it through the gap, fold up the shoulders, click them into position, bring these down. Take the treads from the back, 
rotate and re-tab back into the forearm like so. Rotate down, correct orientations and attach that wherever you want it. But there you go, much, much simpler going that way.